Welcome back. All right, today, today we are going to uh, assemble our greenhouse. I know we did a video a few months ago whenever it first came in, but today is the day we're going to assemble it so that way we can get some seeds started. Here it is towards the end of March. Uh, you know, we'll be planting most of our stuff mid to late May here. Uh, so anyways, 10 by 20 quick tent. I'll put a link in the description below uh, of this one. Hopefully everything's still available. If not, I'll put something similar. Maybe a few options or something. Uh, two different things that you could kind of look at. You know, a green one versus a white one. I did opt for the white one only because it's going to be directly beside my home here. And I thought the white might look a little better than the green. Even though it is going to look a little strange having the greenhouse right here beside my house. But, anyways, we'll, we'll, we'll worry about that later. But without further ado, we are going to go ahead. We'll get my wife out here to help me. We're going to go ahead and start assembling this thing. If you haven't already done, done so, hit that thumbs up button. That would really help the channel. And don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate it. GoPro kind of died on us, so uh, we've got the bottom bottom run on here. Uh, I'm going to use the cell phone for a little bit to try to record this. Got the bottom run. Going to go in and do these supports on the side, and then get to the bows. But anyways, keep watching.
bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. y'all we got the greenhouse assembled here 10 by 20 quick tent uh seven feet tall uh but really it's six and a half in the center i'm about five and a half so it's no big deal got plenty of room for me to walk you know i can walk down here i can reach reach the pole if i need to hang anything there but i ain't gonna recommend doing too much heavy stuff there but anyways um this thing came with eight windows four down each side and two doors i wanted a door on each end that way i could uh I could walk out of the garage once we get it all straightened up and we could walk straight in or I could come in this side with the water hose or whatever water the plants but anyways uh, I do think we're gonna maybe put down some wood chip mulch in here because obviously this grass is gonna grow like crazy uh, we probably won't have a whole lot of tables set up in here too permanent this year but we're gonna we'll be exploring a few other options uh, later on um, but anyways I'm gonna I'm going to spin you around here and I'm going to walk you through it that way you can see uh, you know like how, how we've done everything on the inside all right 10 by 20 quick tent roll up doors cool thing about this is it has I hope that sun's not in your way it has a mesh uh, door that you can zip up to by itself or it can zip up the whole door uh, so you can keep bugs and everything out um, if you need to keep the door down in here um, it velcros down the corners got supports all along the edge here supports up here and a main ridge pole here at the top so you'll see all that eight windows go on the outside zip them up and roll them up and then they'll uh they'll kind of tie right here but anyways what i did here we live in rocky hall literally that's the name of our our road and uh it, it, it's rocky and crap so what i did you can't you can't really get stakes in the ground uh if you if you really need to really need to i guess you could just drive them in with a sledgehammer um you know like a rebar stake so we opted to put the cover underneath the bottom pole to help hold that i put cinder blocks in the side and took the string that you would tie the cover on with to tie it to the um, cinder block so i did one in each corner and then one in the middle so i feel like that'll hold it if it does not hold it obviously we'll find out the hard way and we will uh, address the issue later uh, it doesn't blow out too much uh the you know when we put the doors down in, on each end that's going to uh that's gonna help keep the wind out but you know i may i may come in like here or every other every other uh bow i may get some uh cheap uh, ratchet straps ratchet across the top you know and just not not pull it real tight but do that so it doesn't blow around but we'll see but anyways not too bad everything went together pretty easy so 
Now, I'll give you the pros and cons to this. Um, I'll do a review later on this, but I just want to do you a, a quick pros and cons uh, video. I wish I had my GoPro here. It'd be a little easier. Sorry I'm having to move you around a little bit. This this phone didn't have wide angle. Anyways, uh, the pros, I like the net door and the regular door. I like the windows. I like the double doors. Um, that's nice. I like the main ridge pole straight in the top instead of ones on the side that keeps water from pulling up in between the bows. Um... So, yeah, I, I, me, I'm a, a 10 by 20 instead of a 10 by 10. I like having plenty of room. I know it'll be a little harder to heat, but we won't have to heat it too long. Uh, feels pretty good in here right now, not going to lie. Um, all right, so the cons. It does have, like I said, the um, Velcro, Velcro straps, a few of those in the corner. But it does not have it on any of the other bows. I did not like that part, but that may that may keep it from uh, ripping out later. I, I don't know. I mean, you know, other people got a lot more experience with this than I do. Uh, cons, there's plastic little feet that go in the bottom of the poles. And then the ends of the poles that are open, they sent the wrong size. So that didn't work out. The um, but no big deal we've got sitting up on concrete over here it is on the ground on this side but it's down on the plastic so i think we'll be okay um the let's see what's the other cons what's the other cons oh the directions kind of suck um they um starting out it's a little hard to get going because they don't have everything labeled just right but you know once you once you kind of see how they're laying everything out you can fly you'll notice i started with a screwdriver i was doing that to see if i was going to need tools and uh once i read all the directions obviously you can see that i went and um uh started um uh, using a drill so that that was a wiser move obviously but anyways I think that's all I got for you today. Um, I, I appreciate you watching. We'll do a review of this thing all over later uh, in a different video. But as of right now, I hope you enjoyed us putting this, this thing together. i got a wonderful wife in there to uh, give a lot of extra help. Uh, definitely a two-person job. Um, and it took, with two people, eh, 45 minutes total probably. Maybe an hour. Uh, of course, you know, we, we wasn't really like rushing it. So anyways all i have for you today i hope you liked the video if you did give us a thumbs up that'll help us with the youtube algorithm subscribe to the channel we got more coming hit the notification bell because that'll let you know when the other videos are coming out and until next time we'll see you then